Okay, so we're gonna start with Mamondo, and I wanna start by with Mamondo because I originally started looking at different uh, websites for booking online and found that Mamondo as well as Kayak are both brought to you by Booking.com. And so together, I recommend Mamondo over the two, and here's why. We're gonna do a little research into that right now. Um, for to set the standard for all the different websites, we're gonna be looking for a flight between Los Angeles and Seoul, South Korea, departing November 11th and arrive, uh, returning on November 18th. Now, uh, when you first search on this website, it'll bring three options. It'll show you the cheapest option, the best option, and the quickest option. Um, so right here, the one thing that I have to say about this website is there are a few concerns with the sponsored um, trips that they offer sometimes. So sometimes in this area right here, they'll come up with a sponsored deal. So that means that the website is actually creating some kind of some type of connection with an airline to put a deal up front so that for the viewer to see. Um, you can easily get around this by seeing it will say sponsor next to it, but I just want to give you a heads up on that as well. So as you can see right here, Cathay Pacific and Hong Kong Airlines, uh, sorry, not Hong Kong Airlines, um, uh, as well as Hong Kong Express are actually offering the cheapest deal. Um, so it's $659 round trip with a flight from uh, Los Angeles to Hong Kong and then a flight from Hong Kong to Seoul, South Korea. Um, but then one thing I want to say about booking.com as well as Momondo here is when you click view deal, it actually takes you to a different website. So what it's doing right now is it's redirecting you, for example, to kiwi.com. And on kiwi.com, that's where you can purchase the ticket. Um, and with that, it comes with more benefits. For example, uh, when you look at the ticket here, it'll give you a few more of the amenities and information on your flight. For example, if I click this, it'll give me the flight number, the airline, which is kind of helpful. However, I have experienced other times where it's redirected me to a different site and it gives me even more in-depth information. For example, seat size, airline, uh, aircraft model and different information like that that can be more beneficial for your research however for example this one in particular kiwi.com does not give you that much information on the amenities that you might be looking for so with that information if we go back to uh, Mamondo's website uh, I do like how you can customize you can build your own ticket you can select between the cheapest best and quickest best is uh, actually defined as a mixture of both the cheapest flight as well as the fastest flight uh, that you can book and it does also come with a few of the amenities right here which I think is really beneficial for example it's referencing that there's Wi-Fi here a seat back entertainment a power outlet as well as a USB outlet 32 inches of pitch as well as meals however it should be noted that they don't uh, reference the seat width. Um, I always like to see a website that offers both the seat pitch as well as the seat width. But besides that, it gives you a good amount of information for a website like this. Uh, I would recommend it. However, as you'll see later on in the video, there are other websites that I prefer. And so here on our second website, we'll be looking at skyscanner.com. Um, so we're going to use the standard search, which was Los Angeles to Seoul, South Korea, departing on November 11th and returning on November 18th. Um, and this would be in the cabin class of the economy with one adult passenger. Before I begin, I'd like to also reference that this website also requires you to buy the ticket at another website. So both Momondo as well as Skyscanner are forcing you to go to a different website to book the ticket. But it should also be noted that this website allows for the three different sections when looking at your ticket. So first you have the best uh, ticket price that you can search for. So that includes the cheapest fare as well as the fastest flying route. And then their cheapest fare is uh, pretty self-explanatory, whatever one is the least expensive. And then the fastest is the fastest, the quickest to the, your destination. So by the looks of it, if I go to the cheapest fare, they seem to be able to have found a ticket that is cheaper than Momondo's website for this standard search. For example, here we're seeing that they offer a flight on China Airlines with a round trip uh, ticket stopping in Taipei to Seoul, South Korea, and then back for only $656, which is $3 cheaper than what Momondo was able to offer. Then additionally for this website that I found, uh, that I saw is that, or as you can see, 
as well, is that they don't really offer the amenities that you'd find on the other websites. So as we saw on the earlier website, Momondo actually did show you some of the uh, amenities that would be included on your ticket. But how, on this website, Skyscanner, it's gonna take you to a different website and hopefully you would hope that they would be able to uh, show you all the amenities on that uh, website as well. But just to point out, I wanna let you know that Skyscanner.com does not show you any amenities whatsoever other than the ticket price for your trip. I understand that's really important nowadays with these super long haul flights uh, with the airlines operating. It's really important for everyone to understand what they're getting themselves into for these flights. Um, so that's all I have for Skyscanner at the moment. So this is um, Google Flights. Um, this is another search engine that can be used when looking at a flight. So we, again, I've input the standard flight search, which was Los Angeles to Seoul, South Korea, departing November 11th and returning on November 18th. Um, and one thing I really like about this website is it enables you to do a lot of different things. For example, you can create different price graphs of all of the different um, prices over time, as well as it will allow you to track prices and even inform you whenever the price is a significant change that you want to be alerted for. And additionally, it'll show you the nonstop flights first, which it doesn't necessarily have to break it down and you have to select which section you really want regarding the fastest or the quickest or the cheapest. Instead, it simply puts the quickest ones first and then it also shows you the cheapest ones next. So as you can see, it has Eva Air um, one stop flight at $702 round trip with a stop in Taipei, Taiwan. And if I select that, uh, you should all know about what the previous ticket prices were in the previous two websites. Skyscanner had theirs at $656 and Momondo had theirs at $658 uh, or $59 I should say. And this is a, not that major of a price increase, but it is a notable price increase from the original prices that we found on the other websites. But this website does enable, uh, does show you a good amount of amenities, including the average legroom, the Wi-Fi, the in-flight uh, entertainment, as well as the in-flight power outlets. Um, but it should be noted that if I were able to select both these flights for the round trip flight round trip ticket i should say um you would either be booking with expedia or orbits um and those are two websites that i won't be covering in this video but i will be covering next week in my next upload um on how i feel about booking through those websites but at the moment uh, i would say that this is my favorite website to do searches through simply because it's super convenient and you're able to track prices in a way that you're not able to do with the other websites and it's very uh, user friendly compared to the other ones. I find it really confusing sometimes when you have to go back and forth between different websites and it's linking you to many different other things um, with sponsorships and different things like that on Momondo and Skyscanner. However, Google Flights I think is a clean cut product that will really uh, enable you to look at the tickets that you want and easily access them if you're interested.